All righty, welcome everyone to BAR. My name is Jenny and let's get going. Cool. All right, that means that we're going to start standing. Here we go. Heels in, toes out, really shoulders back. All right, so our arms lift up, our heels lift up, and then feet in, hands in. Yes, out, up, down, and in. Out, up. Down and in, out, up, down, and in. Keep going, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, and keep going, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in. Good. This time you're just going up and down. Here we go, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. For four and three and two and one. Here we go. Stay up. You're just gonna have her go four, three, two, one, down for four, three, two, one. Right up on your toes. Four, three, two, one. Heels down and pulse knees. Two, three, four. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three. Four, down, two. If you already need a bar for balance, you can do that. Three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, last step, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Good, so those feet nice and wide. Alrighty, we're gonna have some arms, the lows are a lot high. Now let's get some flow, shall we? Go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift up, heels, I mean, excuse me, toes in and out. Lift up, toes in and out. So same thing we just did, but in second position instead of first. Good. Good. Keep going. Good. All right. Stay here. Pulse is pulse. Pulse. Don't let those heels drop. Can we keep those heels lifted? Knees bent. Here we go. Pulse. Keep those heels up. Stand up. Here we go. Pulses, heels. Good. Bring it down. Pulse in those knees. You can lower your heels if you need to. Nice. Stick it up. Heels, little pulses. Awesome. Knees bend. Remember, heels can be down or up. All right, here we go. Heels down. Stand up, shake it out, whatever you got to do. And then let's move right into the next move. Okay. Touch my nose. Here we go. So knee comes in and open. Knee in and open. Good. Stay low. Just those knees are moving. So first position arms in the second. Just to stay nice and lifted. Awesome, adding on, starting to go here. And then we're gonna take it down. So we lift that arm up. Good, middle, here, down, and up. Check out that balance. So we're already hovering. We're going to hover lower. Good. How are those arms? Wow. 
us. Change it to a lift. Here we go. Bend, lift, down, middle. <laughs> Bend, lift, down, middle. Bend, lift, down, middle. Bend, lift, down, middle. Bend, lift, down, middle. Again. Warming up. One more. Good. Stand up. Whew. Like right here. I don't know about you. That's where I'm feeling it. All right. Bar. Let me grab your bar. Find your chair. Face front, roll the shoulders back, up, here we go. Down and up, straight down and lift, down and lift, down and lift, down and up, down and up. Four, three, two, and one, stay low, here we go, pulse. Belly button in, tuck your tailbone under. All right, both heels lower and lift really up on those toes. Keep those knees bent if you can. Find that breath. <sighs> All right, single heel strap. Here we go. Go up, down, 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 like a piano. Yeah. <laughs> you guys seen those giant pianos that people play with, like their feet? I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> it's not like this is training you for that. They're cool though. Good, and let it go. And up, excellent. Whew, just hang on to that bar, we're gonna do some rock backs. So spread your feet just a little bit, like half a fist between, should be able to fit about half a fist between those, and rock back. Good. Little rock back. Nice. I don't know about you, but I'm warming up. Deep going rock back. Flex those toes towards your face. Doesn't matter what speed you're at. Doesn't matter what the rest of your body is doing. Keep lifting those toes up off the ground. Good. Ooh, let it go. Excellent. Stretching out one foot in front of the other. Ooh, getting in that back. Good. Good job. Other side. Ooh. Excellent. Go ahead and come to the side. So you can do this without your bar, you can work on your balance. We can do it with your bar, it's up to you. Good, arm up, here we go. Knee to elbow. So again, no bar, or you can hang on to your bar, up to you. Point your toe. Good, 
Now, if you want to add a little extra, think shoulder to hip. So you're adding a little bit more of a side crunch. If you want to be upright, you can stay right here, or you can add that side crunch. Up to you. Maybe add that stretch, that lean over as well. Again, you can always hang on to your bar if you need it. Two, we're going to take it out. Long extension. Here we go. Tap your cat. So ankles at the ceiling. Back of your foot or top of your foot should face the front. Nice. Bring all that heat without leaving the ground. Not phase. Trying not to put weight on that foot when it comes down too much weight. Really working on our balance here. Or you can have your hand on the bar. There's lots of them. Last one. Nice. Woo. There's that side. All righty. You can just turn around if you're using your bar. Otherwise, <clears throat> here we go. All right, arm up. Elbow the knee out to the side, so not forward. Think side, point your toe. Stay upright to begin with. Get a nice form here. Good. Again, just barely tapping those toes to the ground. Good. And if you want, start adding that shoulder to elbow connection, shoulder to elbow. Shoulder to hip connection. You want to reach over a little more? You can. Still trying to put just a little, only a tad bit of weight on that foot when it comes down. Keep thinking. Shoulder to hip. It'll really help me get that side crunch in. Do more just like this. All right, here we go, straighten it out. Keep it going. Oop. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let it go. Come to your little side body stretch dance. Good. Let's go ahead and stretch out that side body, shall we? One foot front, one foot behind. Stretch it over. Outside foot behind in case you didn't catch that. Nice, take it up. All right, other side, just turn yourself around. Outside foot behind you, reach towards that bar. Good. Release hands on the bar. Stretch it out. Awesome. Ooh. All right, step it up to that bar. Heels in, toes out, heels together. Nice, lift up and then go ahead and suck that heel in so you're on your tippy toes. Go ahead and suck that other heel in to meet your heels. Your heels are touching up as you're up. Good, we're going down and up, down and up. Now when you do this, squeeze your bum at the top. Really zip those legs together, zip. So much that you feel all the way into those calves. 
Good, nice tall chest here. Shoulders are down, going straight down and up. So don't sink your bum out. Straight down and up. You need to put your hand there so it goes straight down. Do that. All those ice crispies are fine. Belly button towards your spine, engage your core. Squeeze. Squeeze. Be mindful every time. Boom. Boom. Got this. Now, we're still going, right? Good. Stay up tall. Nice. Done. Squeeze your butt together. Maybe one hand up. In the other balance, your heels are together, so that should help you. And then bring those hands down to the bar. Stay on your toes for your pulses. Six, seven, eight. Press your knees wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulses down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight knees open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pulses down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knees open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots of it. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six. Then embrace the shake. Here we go. Press. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, stand up. Oh, let go of those feet. Excellent. All right. You're on a mat. Your heels will be on. Your toes will be off. So, like a narrow second position here. Heels and toes out. And we're going to do shake it up. Here we go. Raising up on those toes. If you can, you can do regular plyo squats if you'd like. Lower your feet up on your toes. You're going to go down, squeeze at the top, down, squeeze at the top. Knees go as wide as you can. Really think about pressing those knees back. Good. So my hands are actually like just clasped and resting on my bar instead of gripping. Okay. So if that helps you not have a death grip, that's a good option. Quite a bit of these. Keep it going. Are you still squeezing at the top? Really squeeze at the top. Ooh, it gets like the outside of your bum. Nice. That nice definition of where your bum is, where your legs begin. That's what this is doing. Keep breathing. Be nice and tall with those collarbones. Shoulders down. Squeezing at the top. All right, here we go. Slow pulses through. Four, three, two, and one. Knees back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse down. Three, two, one, press back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse down if you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, press back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, you get a water break, press 
Five, eight. <laughs> it's coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Oh, let it go. Nice. Find some water. Ooh. All right. Hello, Wade. Never always All right. a lot of butt today, but incognito butt. Yes, incognito. not a good term for it, but anyways. All right, here we go. So, step back as if you're kind of coming to the lunch. So, nice step back. You have your hands so that you can reach the bar. Yes, good. You're going to drop down and then you're going to tuck. You're going to press it out, tuck it under, press out, tuck it under. So, it's a nice hip movement here, tailbone. Abs and core. Really also getting in right here, hip flexor. All right, are you ready to get a little funky? Here we go, take some hip circles. You need to slow that down. You're gonna stick your butt out, stick your hip out, tuck it under, stick it out to the other side, yeah? Or you can begin to nice circles here. Take it the other way. Really think about tucking the belly button in as you come around that circle. If you're full of water, you want to spill that all over the place. Good, all right, pulses. Here we go. Oh, here's those pulses. Good. Okay, we're going to go back and forth. Ready? Here we go. Pulse and then stay. Tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck under. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck under eight, seven, six, eight. Four, three, two, one. Pulse down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck under eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, one. Pulse down. Eight. Last set. Six, five, four, three, two. Step under. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Place your heel down in the front. Step back just a hair. You're gonna bring that knee in and back, in and back. You got that far? Back. So out of mind. And then go in, up, back, and lift. 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 Again, okay. in, up, back, and lift. In, up, back, and lift. In, up, back, and lift. Last one. In, up, back. And lift. Eat. Okay, yo. I know your quads have not forgotten what we just did to it. But we have the other side. Okay. So remember, hands are on your bar. You should have almost straight arms here. Stepping back like you're going to get in that lunge. And then you can leave your front heel on the ground if you need to. Otherwise, lift up on those toes. Here we go. Down and up. Ready? Down and up. Oh, sorry. Pulses. Or tops, rather. Get an alternate around. So leave those knees bent and tuck and tuck and tuck and tuck, tuck and tuck, tuck, tuck. Keep going. Squeeze your bum, let it go each time. Think also about using your core, belly bent to your spine. If you need to literally put your fingers here to help you, you can. You can exhale as your belly goes in, in. Exhale, exhale, 
All right, here we go. Down and up, down and lift, down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. We got this. Down and lift, down and lift. Ooh. And more. Those heels lifted if you can. All right, pulses eight. Six, five, four, three, two. Here's that tuck. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck it for eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulses. Eight, seven, six. You can five. Or if you need to take a break, you can two, one, tuck it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulses, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, tuck it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last set, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, tuck, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Oh, step it up. Woo! All right, so it's really important to work our quads because it helps take that pressure off our knees. If your knees tend to hurt, you're building muscle, taking some of that weight off. Drop water, clearly. All right. Oh, wow. That was like great and rough all at the same time. All right, let's finish this off, shall we? All right, so you just stepped up. So remember this leg was back, okay? You're gonna come in and back, in and back, in, back, in, back. Four, three, two, one at that crunch, in, up, back, lift, in, up, back, lift, in, crunch, back, lift, in, up, back, lift, in, up, back, lift, in, up, back, lift. You got this. In, up, back, lift, in, up, back, lift, in, up, back, lift, in, up, back, lift. In, up, back, lift. In, up why does that feel like a piece of cake after all those lunges, right? All right, here we go. Let's work on some of our arms. Hopefully your arms forgot about the warm up. If they did it, I'm sorry. All right, down we go. <laughs> My legs are so dead. All righty, here we are. We're just gonna do some rocking forward and back, okay? So I suggest you be on your elbows. You can be on your hands though. But to get more into your abs, you can be on your elbows. Okay. All righty. So from here, two options. One, you can just hold your plank. You can also, if you know that you're in a knee plank, you can just hold this thing right here. Okay. If you want to level up a little bit, you're going to take those knees off the ground and begin to rock forward and back. Go for it. Three, four. Five, 
15, halfway there. 18, 19, 20, here we go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower those knees, get off your hands. You can go back to child's pose. Start from tire leg, whatever you need. Works for me, yeah, that's an opportunity. <laughs> a little bit of a breather break. Good. All right, so we're going to come back to that plank. If your shoulders are bothering you, like you're on the verge of shoulder surgery or something, clearly modify. Okay, which means you can be at your bar. We're letting me give you a few options. So we're going to do some leg lifts from plank. So if you are not jiving with that today, you can always just be right here, right? Just keep this core in. Think about pressing your chest up towards the sky, taking some of that weight out of your hands, using more of your core, yes? Otherwise, you can be on your hands or on your elbows, coming back down. Find your plank. Here we go, left leg. Hold it. All right, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Lower down or get off your arms or whatever you need. Take a break. We got 20 on the other side. Sound good? I'll see if I tell you beforehand how many we're doing. Sorry about that. Our brain can only go so fast. All right. So again, be on your knees or you can be in plank. Find it. All right. Right leg. Here we go. Pulses for 20. Good, lower down, Woo. lower down onto your belly from wherever you were. Yeah. And we're going to work more on your butt, yeah? So taking some of our arms out of the equation and our core for that one. So once you figure out what you're doing, you can always rest your forehead on your arms. Cool. All right, press into the tops of your feet. So your knees lift up off the ground and take that left leg up as high as you can, hold. And back down. Good, left leg again. And back down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Good, holding it up, pulsing it higher. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Excellent. Pat out your feet here. Good. Press on the top of your feet again. Lifting your knee up off the ground. We're going to go to that right leg. Lift it up nice and high. Hold. And back down. Good. Lift it up as high as you can and hold. And back down. Again, up and hold. And back down. One more time, up and hold. And back down. Nice, this time, keep it up and pulse it higher. 50. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice, let it go. Woo! All right, go ahead and press on back, find a child's pose. Good, bring it back onto your belly. Excellent, then we just did this one last last, but it's super effective. We don't do that often, so here we are. You're gonna take your knees as wide as your mat, okay? And then bring your toes up to touch. Cool, so again, same thing. You can rest your hand, your head on your hands once you figure out what you're doing. But you're gonna lift those knees up and take them back down. Good. Lift your knees up and take them down. Lift your knees up. And lower, up, and lower. Add it on, here we go. Up, keep them up, extend your legs long. Bring it in and lower. Up, extend, in, and lower. Add again, up, 
extend in and lower, up, extend in and lower. So again, in and lower, up, extend in and lower. Last time, up, extend in and lower. Good. Walk those legs back in line with your hips. Excellent. Last thing on our bellies before we get off. All right. So you're going to take your arms out by your side and then you're going to sweep them forward at the same time. You're going to lift your chest up. Good. Just swing those arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your legs up off the ground. Good. Lower everything down. Arms reach forward. Lift your chest up. Swing those arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift those legs up and lay down. Good. Arms sweep forward. Lift your chest. Arms sweep back. Lift your legs and down. All right. We're going to make that all go flow a little bit together. So as you take your arms forward, lift your chest up. And as you take your arms back, lift those legs up and down. Good. Arms up, chest up. Arms back, legs up. And down. Good. Lift and back. Down. Lift and back. Down. Lift and back. Down. One more time. Lift and back and down. Good. Press back. Find that child's pose again. Stretch it out. Look how nice I'm doing all these stretches in between your, your craziness. Okay, go ahead and walk those hands over to one side. And walk it to the other side. Good, walk it back to center. Okay, go ahead and take it up. Excellent. All right, coming onto your hands and your knees. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Again, here's that little hack. Do your pointer finger forward instead of your middle finger. A little bit more weight off those wrists if you'd like. All righty, tuck your toes under, find a hover. And then you're going to take your left leg back and bring it in, switch out. And in, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in. Belly button to your spine, and in. Flicking it out, and in, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower those knees down, get off the hands for a moment. All right, so we are gonna have those back and forth plank to down dog. If you wanna do dolphin to plank, you can do that, but that means you just start, you're on your elbows instead. Cool. And if you're like, shoulders really are just not doing that today, you can always be just on your knees. So um, modification option, that you take it back to child's pose good, and then you bring it forward and if you can get your hips down into a line that's great if that's still too much you can just come forward and back coming through like almost like a cat cow push-up yes and you take it back and then you arch it forward that's your modification take it back arch it forward do it a couple times just in case you need to come here later you know what it feels like okay and you can go as slow as fast as you want my second modification option is that dolphin to plank. You're going to go ahead and find your plank, and then you jackknife those hips up to dolphin, and you come back to plank. Okay, final option here. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes under. You're going to find a plank, and you're going to take it back. Good. So begin to do whatever option you've chosen. You can go between them if you need to. If you need to, you can always just drop your knees on that plank. And if you want to add in a push up, you can do that. You need to bring your knees down to do that push up. That's totally cool, too. Make it work for you, right? If you want to level up, but you're not like quite to the full extent, that's fine. Just find good options. You have so many options. I just gave you like at least five options. Okay. So 
and wherever you're at is fine. As long as it's challenging for you and still doable, right? And enjoyable would be nice, but I know that's not always the case for all these moves. Make sure you're still breathing. Hopefully you're just taking your sweet time. You're going through your motions. You're not really worried about how fast I'm doing. Maybe you're going to the beat of your own music. Good. And wherever you're at, bring those knees down. Ooh, get off those hands or your elbows. Ah, yep, that happened. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We are gonna do some full range sit-ups. If you wanna just do crunches, that's fine, okay? Otherwise we have full range sit-ups. What does that mean? Oh, that means you lay all the way back. I'm gonna put my hands behind my head. You can have them wherever you need them. If you need a little heave ho action, you can use your arms, otherwise try not to. I'm just gonna crunch it up. Ooh, Let's see if I can do crunches today. Back down, up. But I'm taking my hands right by my face. This is a little easier. Whatever you, again, whatever you find challenging, but doable. If you need to like throw a little elbow to get yourself up, that's fine. And again, if you're just in it for some crunches, no shame in that game either. Or if you need to hang on to your knees to get you up, that's fine. Again, challenging but doable, right? Good, next time you crunch up, even if you're in a crunch, okay? You're gonna go side, side, three, four. So you got four twists. And then you're going to go down and come back up. And you have four, three, two, one. Take it down. Stand to your foot up. And you got four, three, two, one. Take it down. Step back up. And four, three, two, one. Yes, I've done this in a dance class before. You're like, this does not feel very ladylike. It's fine. You're not all ladies. <laughs> all right. And take it down. Amen. Back up. Well, at least not all of them. Here we go. Okay, four and back down. Ooh, and back up and side. Two, three, four. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Soles your feet together. Sit up nice and tall and lean over. Again, just releasing that back again. Deep breath. All right, extend those legs out long, turn up on top here. If you got a little extra compaction back there, chain the gate, flex those feet, and fold over. Nice long leg here. We're going to create length in our body. Yes, sit up nice and tall, point your toes, arms reach up, and fold over again. And come back up. Splendid. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and lay all the way down. Oh, all right. Knees come up, chin to chest. Yes. All right. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's work our brain a little bit here. Extending and in. So I have like ballet arms. Yes. And then extend opposite and in, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Keep going. Out, in, out and in. Boom, boom, one more side. Boom, 
And boom, good, lay down. Nice. Sorry, right, just to confuse you because why would we not? We're going to do same leg, same arm this time, okay? This is a brain exercise as well as you're getting an extra out of your corny legs. All right, chin to chest. Again, like you have something between, you're like holding a little ball between your chin and your chest. So you don't want to like really crunch in. That's what, that's why your neck hurts, okay? So maybe lay back down again and then chin to chest, but like you're leaving a little space for something there, okay? All right, here we go. Same leg, same arm. Ooh, and and in, legs, and in, sit, and in. If you need to lay your head down, you can, otherwise get a little extra abs by doing it this way. Make belly button to your spine. Nice, one more. Let it go. Ah, rest that head down on the ground. Okay, so you can stick with the one at a time, or final thing is that we're gonna, well, final thing for this move is that we are gonna try both at the same time. Okay, so option you can always stick with the one at a time, you know, here, or you can try that two at a time. All right, chin to chest, here we go. Extend and in, extend and in, extend and in, extend and in. In, you can also have your arms go straight down. And in. And in. Out. And in. Four. You got this. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Wrap those arms or hands around your legs. Wrap a little side to side. Since we're already on the ground, put into those leg, uh, feet to the ground, take your right leg up, stretch out. Good. Flex your foot, okay. cross it over, figure four, reach through. One. All right, like go that leg, leave your legs crossed, cross them over even more. Arms come out to a T or goal post. Take them over to one side. So the leg that's on top, you should be going away from that side. So for me, my right leg is stacked on top, so my legs are going left. Yeah. If you want, you can come into a regular supine twist if you don't like this that much. Good, and bring them back up. Unstuck those legs, both feet find the ground. Tuck your tailbone under, and then lift that left leg up, straight leg stretch. You can point or flex your foot, just like straight leg stretch. Pull behind your leg or foot anywhere. Try not to just chill here, try to actually be stretching it. Like sixty percent of effort, yeah. Four more, and then bend that knee, cross it over, reach through figure four. If you interlace your fingers, just interlace them the awkward way. Let go, cross his legs over even further, goal post or arms out straight to a T, and then let it go to the other side. Ooh. And again, if you don't like it, you can always uncross his legs and just do a regular supine twist.
ahead and then bring it back up. Unravel those legs. Excellent. Feet come together. Let your knees fall open. Bring those feet back together. Grab behind your legs and roll it on up. And you're just coming around for some splits. It's one of those things that, you know, it's not our favorite to work on. Some of us, that's where we are doing the thing that we need to do. And then whenever you're ready, feel free to fold over again. You can always just press your hands into the ground. That might help you find a little bit more of a stretch or you can be forward. Good. All right, come on up and stretch to the other side, or the other side. One, your first side. Take a deep breath or two. You can flex or point your toes. It's up to you. Just don't let your feet just like hang out. Okay, flex or point. Good. And then stretch to the other side. Good. and then walk it back to center one more time. And then make your way back up. Bring those legs in. Whenever you're ready, however graceful you want to. Come on up to those feet. All right, we got balance and then we're out of here. Woo woo, did it, nice work. Oh, you stopped too fast, just give me a second. <laughs> okay, otherwise, here we go. You're gonna go forward, side, back and in, try not to touch down, forward, side, back, and in a little higher, forward, side, back, and in a little higher, forward, side, back, and down. Nice, only for each side, super easy, okay? Here we go, start low. You can start hovering or you can start with your toes on the ground. If your toes never leave the ground, that is also fine. One is challenging for you, right? Okay, go up higher if you can. Go one more after this, as high as you can. Nice. Ooh, shake it out. Good. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Good. Step one behind you. Inhale. Good. Wonderful. Exhale. Nice work, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope you're feeling a little bit better in your body. Okay. Take care.